just need to get that first bite you guys and that's when the show began I, I just want to see if it's gonna if they're gonna bite because that weather dropped big time so it got really cold I want to see but it did get up to 60 today so we're gonna see Crazy how I, I, th I just think that cropping nibble plays a big role in it. I caught that fish in a, just a couple of inches in there on the top. I mean, a big old slab. Let me put a cropping nibble on it. And they're used to playing games. So I ain't no use of playing. Let me go ahead and put the cropping nibble on it. There we go, you guys. Another big one. Another big one. Another over, over a pounder. 1.5 close to 1.8 easy maybe two pound well i'd say about 1.7 1.8 down there because they about to get started here i need about five they should bite real quick here you guys He hit that joker hard. That's how I know the cold weather did something because they would be biting back to back as soon as you drop in there. There we go, you guy. Another big slap. Well, they are biting back to back now. All right, it's a keeper. Not big as the other two, but it is a keeper, though. Calm down. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just I'm letting I'm letting it fall at an angle. Coming from one side of the drain hole, falling to the other side. About two feet to three feet deep. And they hitting it on the fall. When they decide to, they're hitting it on the fall. There we go, you guys. Another one. I'm, lit I'm literally dropping an inch in the drain hole. And they're on top. So they suspended about a foot up under that drain hole. Stop it. Look at these slabs, man. Look at these slabs. Come on now. And they said my spot don't produce. Man. I see if I, can, I, see if I, I might, I might do pretty good today. Hold oh, on. Um, I don't found them now, you guys. I ain't fishing up on them. I'm fishing on top of them. The, uh, the drain hole up under here. 
they're sitting right on top of that. I'm, bur I'm barely dropping in, and uh, they're just hitting it. They're not down in the bottom in the column. Let's get back in there, you guys. Right, as soon as I dropped in there. As soon as I dropped in there. Jeez. That's my nighttime go to color. And uh, 116 ounce jig head, get the job done. Eight pound test line because of that concrete slab. <laughs> and uh, tip it with a crappie nipple at all times. At all times. I'm doing this for you guys for sure. Got a tap just in. He didn't take it, but I got a tap. Actually, I'm gonna bring it down. There we go. Make it a little bit easier for me to pull them out. There we go. Big one, big one, big slab. All right, slow down. Stop it. There we go. Another keeper. Another keeper. It's a male hero. Now you see me looking around. I like to make sure that everything is good, you know. So, so I look around, make sure you don't got Yoda or nothing out. Let's get back in here. Non-stop action. Springtime crappie fishing, drain hole fishing with Mr. Slab Hunter. You guys, please subscribe for me. I'm trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark. Bank busting, doing it the hard way, fishing at night. Doing this for you guys. If I can make a little money off of it, I can get better equipment. I can, um, you know, come out and have more uh, quality uh, videos and, you know, mic and everything um, off of making this money. If I, can, if I get to that point. If not, I'm still going to make the video for you guys. It doesn't matter. I love fishing, so I'm still going to fish and do this. This is what I'm uh, fishing with. A chartreuse, black, tipped with a crappie nibble. Day. What the hell I got? It's too dark to be trying to catch something. Or oh, pass the bag. Like it's too dark to be catching something I don't I don't know what it is. Way too dark to be catching something I don't know what it is. Alright, so you see, yep, they don't slow down. So that might be a sign it might be over with. And it's only probably 715. They just start up and I think they're coming in waves, coming through here and going out to feed. And I'm catching them as they coming through. Ooh, I felt that one. I got a little thump just then. There we go. Oh, he got off. Let's see if the... Okay. Ooh, 
the dog was heavy. He hit again. See what I mean? He'll hit it again. He'll hit it again. Close to two pounds, y'all. Close to two pounds, baby. Oh. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Drain hole fishing. at home all right guys so this is the finished touch i cut all of these in about 20 minutes you guys you saw the video and stuff i didn't edit the video that video is from the first fish to the last fish and this is every one of them so uh i got a uh, man some big old slab these are some big ones one two three four five six seven eight so i got eight of them all of them are nice slab. I think this is the big one, but I think this one is the big fish of the of the night. I think it's that one. Man. Fish right there. That's a big one right there. That is a big fish. Both of them actually pretty big. They both about the same size. Well, no, that one's bigger. That's a big one. They got some big ones in here. A lot of these are males. This is a pretty big one here. That's a pretty big one too. So, man, fishing is starting to pick up. I call these, like I said, in 20 minutes. The spot I go to, if I give me a fishing buddy, you know, we stay out there for about two hours, I guarantee we'll limit out, especially if we got some minnows. But uh, I just don't stay out there too long because there's wildlife out there and stuff, and I'm just trying to get to the house. So let me wear a couple of these and see how much they weigh, get this on film. And then uh, you guys, man, you guys always stay blessed. But let's get this weigh on at least these three and maybe a couple of them in here, and we'll see what happens. I think I got some one, one and a half. <laughs> 